As this city uh, and really the country prepares for today's memorial service for George Floyd, former NBA player Stephen Jackson has pledged to support his lifelong friend's young daughter while he also continues his push for justice. We are not leaving. We demanded justice, and I'm tired of seeing that. I'm, I'm, I'm not going to see her hurt every day like this. We need justice. We demand it. Stephen Jackson joins us once again this morning. Good to see you again, sir. Thanks so much for your time. Good morning. Hey, Stephen, I want to start by, by talking about that, that Instagram post I saw on your feed. George's daughter, his six-year-old daughter, Gianna, on your shoulders saying, Daddy changed the world. Uh, there's the video right there. D did you teach her that? Um, actually, actually, I didn't teach her that. Actually, we were walking, and uh, she saw pictures of her dad everywhere. And then she was like, my daddy's everywhere. I said, yeah, your daddy changed the world. And she just screamed it. My daddy changed the world. And uh, it's, it's a blessing because he is going to change the world. And it's funny that a six-year-old girl can see her dad everywhere and see all these people supporting her daddy all across the world. But an NFL quarterback who's one of the best ever don't understand why we, why we were kneeling, why Kaepernick were kneeling. It's, it's crazy that people are naive to things, but I think it's on purpose. You're talking about Drew Brees and, and those comments from yesterday where uh, the, the, the New Orleans Saints star, uh, to your point, uh, seemed to, to question why Colin Kaepernick and others who've knelt in the past to protest racial injustice, why that, why that happened. Um, you criticized Drew Brees for his timing. Is that what you take issue with? Not so much the, the substance of what he said, but the fact that he's saying it right now? Yeah, and, and you know, I, 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 owe, I owe people apologize. I use, uh, I use a bad uh, uh, word, the word retard, in uh, addressing Drew Brees, and I definitely apologize. I was emotional. But Drew Brees is a smart guy, and the timing is definitely bad. He, he has a lot of black teammates. He knows what's going on. He's, he's seen my brother get murdered. The world's seen my brother get murdered. So to be that naive, and he's a smart guy, but to be that naive and act like you don't know why Kaepernick was kneeling, it, it just baffles me. Let's, uh, let's, let's talk about the, the new developments in the case. Those three officers charged yesterday. When we last spoke, you said that was sort of the first step toward justice, having all four officers charged. When you saw those, those three mug shots yesterday, what would you think? Uh, they should have been, they should have, we should have been seeing those mug shots. Why we didn't see any public arrests? Why they didn't have to walk, do that walk of shame like we have to do that walk of shame for, for, for traffic tickets or for, or for, or for uh, unpaid child support? They come with, with, the, with the SWAT team and kick our doors down and drag us out the house. We didn't see a public, we seen a public murder, but we didn't see public arrest. Um, I'm not surprised. I, I want convictions and I'm not going to be satisfied until they buried under the jail. What you said to, what you said to us uh, during our last conversation stayed with me over the last eight days because these protests that we've seen all over this country, Stephen Jackson, um, what happened literally a few feet from where I'm standing right now, sparking protests in Salt Lake City and Florida, even Alaska. As you watch these protests play out, what, what, what have you thought? I mean, did, did you think it would, it would turn into what it's turned into? One, um, one I didn't know I, I had so much support. Um, I think uh, a lot of people are definitely looking to me for answers and looking to me for support because I'm leading this charge with my brother. But the world understands what's right and what's wrong. And I don't, un I don't understand why it's so difficult. It's not rocket science. It's not rocket science, excuse me. Fair is fair. We want to be treated fair. And everybody sees that blacks are not getting treated fair. And whatever we have to do to get that, if we have to get support from everybody, and that's what they scared. They, they scared of that. If we stand in arm to arm, side by side, shoulder to shoulder with every race, we can't lose. And that's what you're seeing. That's why you're seeing all 50 states protest, protest for my brother. That's why you see all these countries protesting for my brother. Because everybody wants to love everybody and everybody wants to stand together. And we know what's right. And that's what we're fighting for. Stephen Jackson, um, childhood friend of George Floyd. And I know you'll be at that memorial uh, service over there, Stephen. I'll see you there. Uh, be well. Thank you again. Thanks for your time this morning.